Hey, welcome back to SGS. I'm Sarge and I'm bringing music to the front lines to you guys today. And today we got NF Suffice. It is four minutes and 25 seconds long. I uh, haven't heard it. Again, going down the album for what I've heard are some of the bangers. And then we will go back through the album and do uh, the ones that are more dramatic or, or sad or whatever emotion they actually bring. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, so we're going to do Suffice today. With that being said, if you uh, love NF, please go over to show NF some love. If you like my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe for me. Always trying to grow the fans, uh, you know, bigger, especially when it comes to NF. Um, with that being said, let's uh, let's jump into this and uh, see what you guys think. All right, here we go. Yeah, if I did it, then I did it right. Yes. Yeah, this ain't happen for me overnight. No. Yeah, bet it gets me, you gon' pay the price. Yeah, down the business, I ain't playing nice. Yeah, so okay. ahead of y'all, I'm out of sight. Yeah, when you pop in there, I wanna slice. Yeah, be the envy, that's a part of life. Yeah, mediocre, that just won't suffice. Better. Now than never, ain't no cracking under pressure. The boy's clever. If I did it, it was stellar. Nobody fresher. Stop complaining, man, my head hurts. These catchy records ain't nothing really but a walk in the park for me. Heard the catalog, you know I got some scars on me. Just getting started, you don't really want to start with me. It's John Q, I would sacrifice a heart in me for family. So I'm going to take it back just a little bit here, but it reminds me of, um, I can't think of the name of the song now, but it's from TI. Um, and he's talking about the, is it Phantom or it, it's a car, but the beat reminds me of that. Um, he's basically just saying that this is easy, uh, and that he's a high roller that you wouldn't know it, uh, by the way, he dresses, um, it's it's a it's an interesting song because he's talking about suffice. Um, so let's see how he ties it in. I'm not sure yet because again, I you know I know I stopped it at some weird spot, but it's like I'm just kind of trying to get a vibe of it before we get further. And uh, I mean, I like it so far. We'll see. John Q, I would sacrifice our That's a hard part. For John family, Q. high roller, but you wouldn't know it by the way that I. If I did it, then I did it right. Yes, yes, yes. This ain't happened for me overnight. No, no, no. Bet against me, you gon' pay the price. Pay, pay, pay. Down the business, I ain't playing nice. Oh, yeah. So ahead of y'all, I'm out of sight. I'm out of sight. Yeah. When you pop in there, I don't wanna slice. Don't wanna slice. Yeah. Greed and envy, that's a part of life. Part of yeah. life. Mediocre, that just won't suffice. Spice, spice. Keep myself grounded, that's a piece of me that I won't let go No matter what level I reach, I promise to hold it close Ain't gotta tell me this is indifferent, man, I already know How are you claiming we had a baby? We ain't never spoke I don't be sleeping out here with random women on the road They want a DNA test to prove it, I'm like, here you go I could've saved you a bunch of time and told you the results Looking for us money from me, you ain't gonna get it, though So who accused Dan of... <laughs> Well, first of all, who's NF supposedly sleeping with out here on tour? Because, again, that's not anything in... I'm not saying he wasn't accused of it. I'm not saying that somebody didn't actually try this. But of all the people, and granted, I realize that none of us actually know Nate as well as Nate himself and or maybe Bridget. You know, but, like, at the same time, he's the last guy that I would think that uh, that would come about with. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. He, he never gives off that kind of that kind of vibe he's real loyal sounding to his wife etc you know whatever anyway and i know he's human but even still um i think that's that's a little odd <laughs> that's that's a little strange and i did look it up real quick in case you see me looking down i was looking up uh, the song was wraith uh from ti now they don't sound similar they just have that kind of gritty beat in the background um and that's what it, this is kind of what it made me think of but uh, interesting, interesting on NF's part to put this in it, basically. 
with the uh with the lady thing you know and the dna test and i i don't know i don't know how that fits that i won't let go no matter what level i reach i promise to hold it close ain't got to tell me this is indifferent man i already know how are you claiming we had a baby we ain't never spoke i don't be sleeping out here with random women on the road they want a dna test to prove it i'm like here you go i could have saved you a bunch of time and told you the results looking for us money from me you ain't gonna get it though historic rain on my parade i keep walking and ignore it just part of the game yeah it comes with the territory it's just another day man i'm used to it downpouring it's nothing, 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 nothing. if i did it then i did it right yeah, yeah, yeah. this ain't happened for me overnight, yeah, overnight. Yeah. I'm, I'm only gonna assume the reason he brought that up is because it did happen kind of like when he says in therapy sessions and he shows the tweet that the guy said he was gonna slaughter his family um that it did happen to him and it was an experience but he's also talking about how if he did this thing this rap thing whether it's tours or whatever that he did it right he wasn't out there cheating and you know out there chasing uh all the ladies or whatever out there you know why he was on tour and you know being grimy and <laughs> getting down with everybody i don't think that's i don't think that's anything that anybody ever, ever thought so i just think it's weird that he put it in this song I understand how it fits, but it's like so far from the person that he is that I, I'm shocked that he put that he put it in, basically, I guess. All right, let's keep going. Better guess me, you gonna pay the price. Uh, down the business, I ain't playing nice. Uh, so ahead of y'all, I'm out of sight. Yeah. When you pop in there, I don't want to slice. Yeah. Be the envy, that's a part of life. Yeah. Mediocre, that just won't suffice. Oh man, we got like two minutes and something left here, or a minute and something left anyway. Is he switching it up? Do not okay. need no introduction. Now I get it. Stop okay. my own okay, no one touch it. Became what they said I could it. Yeah. Mediocre, that won't cut it. Life is a gift, I wanna live it to the fullest while I can. Why would I not wanna know my days in this game are numbered? Might as well enjoy the few years that I do have left. Who knows when I'ma write my last verse? I've been to hell and back ever since that first EP came out with all I have on it. I've been giving all I have, wasn't really prepared for the pain I was gonna have to go through to get to the end result that I knew I wanted. Hope that would make an impact in rap. Has that been insane? Yes, but it was worth it. I can't imagine if I would have gave up and just turned my back on this. You so he's basically saying how hard he worked and that it was worth every bit of the struggle that he went through in order to get to where he is today, obviously. And I mean, let's be real. Nate's fantastic, man. Uh, one of my favorite artists on the channel, uh, probably my all time favorite, just being real. But, um, you know, like I, I like. Okay, so I like the song so far, and and the second verse just kind of throws me for whatever reason. But I also like this beat change slash drop beat change, whatever you want to call it, and then him continuing on with a little bit different of a beat. Um, I I enjoy that, but I gotta say it breaks, uh, kind of breaks my immersion when he starts talking about things that I don't think are characteristic of. You know, when he's basically, you know, I know that he's denying that and I'm not trying to focus on that, but it just took me out of it, man. Cause it's like, uh, who thinks that you're ever out here, you know, being with all these, these women on tour, like not, not any real fans think that, I mean, so I, I don't know anyway, but I do like this beat change. It is uh it's pretty dope. That I knew I wanted Hope that would make an impact in rap Has that been insane? Yes, but it was worth it I can't imagine if I would've gave up And just turned my back on this music Where would I be now? Don't know how I would've made it out From underneath that rainy cloud Had my doubts, yes, but that's how I found my True purpose of my surface Looks great, who cares if underneath I'm hurting If there's one thing I've learned in
Again, my life is that life is uncertain. Getting burned is unavoidable, isn't it? Ain't a person alive that hasn't been a victim of being lied to. We're all hypocrites, giving that. our two cents, but not listening, all living in our that own too. world, thinking that <laughs> we're right when the fact of the matter is a closed mind is the mind of an idiot. Don't believe that's true. Well, open it. Okay. All right. I mean, closed mind is being kind of stupid, you know. You got to open your mind to a whole lot of things, you know, or you'll you'll shut out everything. Um but uh yeah, like I said, I enjoyed this. Like I don't think I enjoyed this near as much as the other bangers that I put out for prior, you know, as far as like I've reviewed uh, you know, um well, hope was fantastic because it was dramatic. Motto was funny to me, and I liked that, but I did like the shots at the industry, talking about he didn't have to, you know, conform to their ways. Um, we did Happy, I believe, and that is sort of an emotional roller coaster per se. We skipped on to Corday and, and him with Careful, and that was a definite banger. I enjoyed that immensely. Pandemonium is probably my favorite. Uh, it's like, uh, that's a joke on steroids. Um, let them pray. I absolutely loved turn my back. Uh, I love that as well. This one would probably be the last in the line of those. Um, if we're looking for a rating system out of, uh, out of the bangers, but that may be different for you and that's okay. Like, you know, as long as you love it, <laughs> that's all that really matters. And if you don't love it, oh, well, I mean, that's fine too. But like, I liked all of them, man. I liked every one of these so far. And uh, I can't wait to get into the emotional and the other sides of the songs just to see what he's offering in this album. Um, I know Mama's there, so we kind of know what that one's going to be about. The rest of them kind of got me guessing at this point. So uh, I guess we'll figure it out. But, uh, you know, I'm excited to do more of NF. And if you guys like NF, please go over and show his channel some love. Like, subscribe, go to the tour, get some merch, um, any of that stuff. And if you like my reaction to this, uh, like I said, I loved it. Just thought the the second verse, it kind of threw me for some reason. I don't know why. It just kind of pulled me out of the song and the immersion of it. Um, just because, like, that's so far out of the characteristics of the kind of person that you expect Nate to be. So why it even came up in a verse, I'm not sure. Uh, but again, you know, it is what it is. It's just one verse. It's fine. Um, anyway, with that being said, I've been Sarge. Eat well. Be safe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.